Hey guys, what's up? This is Chaos Bender here again for yet another video, and welcome to another Mario Kart 8 track in depth guide and analysis. Today, Dry Dry Desert. Making its debut for Mario Kart Double Dash for the Nintendo GameCube, Dry Dry Desert is the first track of the Banana Cup. Even though this place is not so dry anymore, it's still a pretty impressive makeover from the original track. So let's learn how to dominate everyone and leave them biting your dust. Or, in this case, sand. Now we're gonna take a look at the fastest base route and the most efficient way to earn 10 coins. I say beast because I am not going to be using any mushrooms since you are never guaranteed to have them, and because I will be using the default card build. We will also cover the drifts which will help you get a much better time. Last but not least, remember that these guides are not meant for people to set a new world record, but rather, they are here to make you a better player in general. Alright, on with the footage. Open up with your initial boost and start an orange drift to the right as you grab 3 coins, and release it after you obtain the last one. Avoid the pokies on this area as you perform 3 blue drifts, and then aim for another coin under the third pokey as you pass under it and build up an orange drift to the right. On this first lap, go to the right in order for you to grab 4 coins as you build up a drift to the left, and release it right here to build another orange drift to the right while grabbing your last 2 coins. Once you reach the oasis, follow this route and perform a trick on top of this bump and get out of the water to perform the last 2 drifts and close the lap. On laps 2 and 3, perform these drifts closer to the sand which will slow you down, and do this next to the quick sand void for a small lead. And there we go, we are done with one of my favorite retro tracks in this game. But as always, remember the following tips to perform even better. Number 1. Mushroom Spots there are many good shortcuts here, however, we will focus on the two most important ones. The first one can be found right here. Use it next to the quicksand to cut through it even better and gain a bigger lead. Next, depending on your card combination, you can use one or two right here in order to cut through the end of the oasis for a huge advantage. Number 2. Hazards First, you will have to watch out for the pokies on this part of the track. Next, make sure not to get sucked into the middle of the quicksand. It's not as bad as the GameCube version where a piranha plant would eat you, but it will still harm your lead. Number 3. Alternate Routes The only two alternate routes are the path to the left of the quicksand and any combination of tricks in the middle of the oasis. And with this information, we are done with Dry Dry Desert. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to leave us a comment down below if you have any feedback to provide. Also, feel free to subscribe to Golden Inbus and my channel for more Mario Kart 8 content. So with that, you guys have a great day, take care of yourself, and until the next track analysis video, I will see you then.